there's a theory going around that uh, Maya uh, guards the water. And the water in that corner, I'm going to move to that corner. And we're going to see if Maya guards that corner instead of that corner because of the water. So this should be fun and interesting. I don't know the answer. I think I know the answer. Let's find out. Okay, now we just need some horses. So let's grab the same horses as last time.
Okay, so we're back with the same four miscreants as last time and uh, the reason I'm doing this video is I've received my last comment on that Maya guards the water bucket. I uh, keep commenting on that it's not it and I know that because I'm here all the time. I watch my horses all the time and I'm gonna go away. I've shown I've shown Maya where the water bucket is. She even dropped a bomb. So, proof that she was there. She knows where the water bucket is. Now the question is, what will she do? Will she spend her time over there? I had somebody mention that she's getting Lena to try to help guard the water. And um, my message really is to everybody watching. You're watching a very, very, very tiny, tiny subset of information that goes on around here. Very small. You know. And um, you know, there, there's a saying of, uh, you know, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that I never do it. <laughs> I'm constantly checking my bias. Yeah, I didn't want you. <laughs> Mr. Wild, what would you like? Says if you could just give me a quick scratch and s Hi, buddy. Where is it? Look at his color change, eh? Oh, he didn't want to scratch at all. His color change from winter to summer. Looks like he's going to get quite a bit darker. He's going down for a roll. Oh, Maya's going down for a roll too. Synchronized wildy rolling. Adorable. There we go. She's up. He's still rolling. Here comes Luke. Lena's gone over to sniff some poop and do a roll. I think. Oh. Luke doesn't get his roll yet. Mr. Wild's gonna hassle him until. <laughs> a little windy, a little cold there. Oh, there goes Lena. Really pullying it. Anyhow, so my point really is, is that <clears throat> this channel is about learning and me too. Like, here's the race. <laughs> Luke gave up. So look at Maya. Now, I don't want to hear anything like she's guarding the ghost of the water bucket or something, okay? So don't do it. Don't do it. But we're here to kind of learn and get past all of our biases and our, you know, all the, the you know, some things are legit. Don't get me wrong. Some things are well proven. I get it. Not in all cases. You know, we have to take a large subset of data to prove a hypothesis. But I can say straight out that, you know, the amount of video online about Maya and where she likes to be and all that is so tiny compared to the huge amount and that applies for all of the horses here no different than the video I had to do or felt like I had to do about Maya being mean you know we, we have such a small tiny amount of information about all of these horses myself included and we're trying to keep what I'd refer to as an open mind as much as possible as to the why we can come up with ideas that's for sure but I can say that if I if I respond like nope you have to trust me that's not it and still and it's not just the Maya thing there's lots of comments that come through there's a hypothesis there's an idea and I'm like no that's not it you have to trust me that's not how it works the horse does this that or the other instead sometimes and blah 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 like it's okay to change the idea and I'm constantly working on that myself constantly working on learning so yeah so the water's over there nobody's there nobody's gone there nobody cares about there nobody's guarding there so let's do a little pushing let's 
push some horses. Well, let's get some little action, get some movement. Let's send Luke up to the top. Let's get the horses together a little bit. We'll see what Maya does. Yeah, what is she doing? Another question that came in is whether or not she's claiming Lena, kind of like Roni claims Lena. And I'm not entirely convinced on that. Oh, there she is. Up in the corner. Lena's having a drink. Maybe she's, I'm, done. I'm not even going to do it. She's not guarding it, she's just drinking. Okay, let's send the boys. Come on, we gotta get some more data. Send them to the top. It's fun sending them anyways. Okay. Let's get the other ones. Let's get Lena out of the corner. No, she's not guarding the water. Yes, Maya seems to want to tell Lena what to do. Do I know why? No, I don't know why. Okay. Send them down. Down to the back. Send them on more there. There, to the back they go. And now, where do they go? Where do they go? Let's see. Oh, in a way, I hope I'm wrong. I hope they go to the water. <laughs> the boys they just give up. There we go. Okay, nobody's guarding the water. Let's see. So hopefully that sort of puts that one to rest. So we can come up with something else. Why that corner? Why over there? Well, my original theory was that her food's up there. You know, she thinks that's the only source of food because it's the only source of food she's experienced. So she might stay up in that corner because over there is her food. If, by chance, I moved her to the back, right? What is Luke doing? If I moved her to the back, would she guard the back corner? And I believe the answer is probably. Yeah. Highly likely. Goofballs. All right, girls are there. Boys are coming up. They're gonna get sent. If they're not careful. So the next sort of thought process we can think about is, well, what's with Maya taking, taking over Lena's attention? How does she do it? What does she want? I don't know the answer. My, my personal hypothesis is, is she just wants to keep a friend. Yeah. She just wants Lena to be with her. And then what's with, why does Lena have so much draw with everybody? I don't know. She's a cool horse. She has a cool personality. Good to talk to. Maybe she helps them work through their problems. <laughs> Maybe she's like the counselor of the... I don't know. We'll never know. Sue. Okay. So there you go. If if uh, if that's to sort of say anything, I got to get on with stuff. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave this one a little bit shorter, just to say, you know, keep thinking. Keep thinking. If 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 it, if I got to make a video to prove something true or false, I'm more than happy to do so. <clears throat> but you know. I don't want to do it all the time. Just trust me a little. If I come over here, what happens? Not much. Girls are quiet. So that's it. I'm gonna leave it at that. Hopefully that's been a little bit interesting. Let's keep thinking, let's keep wondering. And uh <laughs> these guys are gonna play for a bit now. It's going to be fun to watch them, at least for me, while I do stuff. Hmm. Get him, Luke. Luke's on the right. Mr. Wild's on the left. So. Okay, that's it for now. A very fast follow-up. It's like half hour later. The boys are still goofing off. Barrels are down. Lena's wandering. Maya's guarding the tree. <laughs> and the poor, poor, poor water market is all onesies. Poor thing. So, 
there you go. Uh, that's it. We're going to call it a debt. This, this hypothesis has been proven incorrect. Uh, I think, because I wanted to know too. I've been watching, making sure nobody's coming over here. Nobody really cares. Instead, now we can talk about the tree. It's a very important tree. You know, the funny thing is though, actually, I think about it even further though. If I think about my own hypothesis about it, that she wanted to be up here due to food. Well, it's not right. She's not up here for food either. Why would she stay at this corner so much? I don't know. But slowly but surely it changes. Okay, that's it. That's truly it. Till next time.